In a thrilling twist to the electric vehicle saga, Elon Musk has just unveiled three groundbreaking features for Tesla's upcoming Model Y Juniper 2025, promising to elevate the stakes in its fierce competition with the Xpeng G6. With the electric vehicle market hotter than ever, the battle between these two innovative giants is set to redefine the landscape. What new advancements does the Model Y bring to the table, and how might they tip the scales in Tesla's favour? Dive into the details of this electrifying showdown and discover what sets the Model Y Juniper apart from its rival. 1. How does the Xpeng G6 outshine the Model Y in design? When it comes to design, the Xpeng G6 and Tesla Model Y are strikingly similar in some respects, yet each brings its own distinct elements to the table. The G6 measures 4,153mm in length, 1,120mm in width, and 1,650mm in height, closely matching the current Model Y, which is 4,750mm long, 1,321mm wide, and 1,624mm tall. Despite these near-identical dimensions, the G6 starts at a more budget-friendly $29,000 in China, with the top-end version costing around $44,000, compared to the Model Y's $47,490 starting price in the US, showcasing the different market positioning and target audiences of these two electric SUVs. From certain angles, the G6 appears to echo the physical presence of the Model Y, particularly with its sloping rear end that mimics the silhouette when viewed from behind. This resemblance extends slightly to the Ford Mustang Mach-E as well. However, the G6 sets itself apart with Xpeng's signature robot face front end, which stands taller than the Model Y. While it's a relatively high SUV, the G6 manages a drag coefficient of 0.248 CD, which, although impressive for its class, doesn't quite match the aerodynamic efficiency of the current Model Y's 0.23 CD. The G6 presents a modest design, though the body-coloured wheel arches bordered by black strips may divide opinions. Looking ahead to the 2025 Model Y Juniper, Tesla is expected to push the envelope in both design and technology, aiming to outdo competitors like the Xpeng G6. Early indications suggest that Tesla will introduce a refreshed aesthetic that builds on the sleek, minimalist ethos of the current Model Y. With Tesla's continuous focus on efficiency and performance, the Juniper could further achieve a drag coefficient lower than 0.23 CD. Moreover, the 2025 Model Y Juniper is anticipated to feature a more refined front fascia, incorporating advanced lighting and sensor technology that aligns with Tesla's ongoing trend of integrating cutting-edge features. These changes are likely to include redesigned LED headlights, potentially with adaptive lighting technology, and an updated sensor array to enhance Tesla's already robust autopilot and full self-driving capabilities. Now we turn to you. Which electric SUV do you think will have the edge in design and efficiency? Comment 1 for Xpeng G6 or 2 for Tesla Model Y Juniper. 2. How does the interior of the Xpeng G6 stack up against the 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper? When it comes to interior quality, the Xpeng G6 and the upcoming 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper present distinct approaches. The Xpeng G6 is equipped with high-grade synthetic leather and wood trim, giving its interior a modern and luxurious feel. It features 12-way power-adjustable front seats with heating, cooling and massage functions, enhancing comfort and convenience. In contrast, the current Tesla Model Y, while offering a minimalist design with similar materials, lacks the massage function and only provides seat heating. It is anticipated that the Juniper model could introduce upgrades in seating comfort, potentially including ventilation and massage features to close this gap. Driver visibility in the Xpeng G6 is enhanced by its high seating position, providing a commanding view of the road. However, the low hood can make it challenging to judge the front of the vehicle. The large windshield and narrow A-pillars help improve forward visibility. Nonetheless, Rear visibility is limited by a small rear window and thick rear pillars. The G6 compensates with a robust driver assistance package, including 12 cameras, 5 radar units, 
and 12 ultrasonic sensors, all integrated into its X-Pilot system. Currently, the Tesla Model Y uses its autopilot system, which includes 8 cameras and 12 ultrasonic sensors. Speculations about the Model Y Juniper suggest possible enhancements in sensor technology and placement, potentially increasing the number of cameras and radar units to offer improved situational awareness and safety features compared to both the current Model Y and the G6. The G6's interior relies heavily on a large 14.9-inch central touchscreen running Xpeng's Xmart operating system. This setup eliminates physical buttons for functions such as climate control and mirror adjustments, instead depending on touch-based controls. Despite the lack of physical buttons, the system is user-friendly, with clear graphics and an intuitive interface similar to a smartphone. Additionally, the steering wheel integrates buttons and scroll wheels for adjusting volume and climate. While an AI assistant named Xiaopi offers voice command functionality, though its responsiveness can be inconsistent. Meanwhile, the Tesla Model Y utilizes a 15-inch central display, which has been praised for its simplicity and intuitive interface, running the latest Tesla software with regular over-the-air updates. It remains to be seen if the Juniper version will bring a larger screen or even more streamlined interface options to compete directly with the G6's offerings. The Xpeng G6 offers 9-20mm of rear legroom and a 28-degree seat recline angle, ensuring a spacious and comfortable rear passenger area. The current Tesla Model Y provides 900mm of rear legroom, but does not feature adjustable seat recline angles. To remain competitive, the Juniper version may improve these dimensions, offering more adjustability and space to attract customers seeking comfort. For cargo space, the Xpeng G6 has a trunk capacity of 571 litres, which expands to 1,374 litres with the rear seats folded. In comparison, the Tesla Model Y already surpasses this with a larger trunk capacity of 854 litres which increases to 2,158 litres with the rear seats down. Additionally, the Model Y includes a front trunk with a capacity of 117 litres, bringing the total cargo space to 2,275 litres. Any potential changes to the Juniper might further maximise interior space and storage, continuing Tesla's dominance in this area. If you believe that the Juniper will surpass the Xpeng G6 with its potential upgrades in seating, comfort, technology and cargo space, vote Y. If you think the Xpeng G6 already sets a higher standard or has features that might give it an edge, vote N. 3. How do the performance metrics of the Xpeng G6 compare to the 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper? When evaluating the performance of the Xpeng G6 against the anticipated 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper, several key aspects come into play. The Xpeng G6 offers two battery options, a 66 kWh and an 87.5 kWh variant, utilizing 800 volt technology and capable of charging at rates up to 280 kW. The larger 87.5 kWh battery can charge from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. This setup provides the G6 with a robust output of 296 kilowatts, 398 horsepower, and a peak torque of 660 nanometers, enabling a swift zero to 100 kilometers per hour acceleration in 3.9 seconds. The G6 also features launch control, enhancing its performance by accelerating from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just 3.9 seconds, providing a more exhilarating driving experience. In comparison, the current Tesla Model Y Long Range features a 75 kilowatt hour battery with a power output of 324 kilowatts, 434 horsepower, and 639 nanometers of torque, achieving 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 4.8 seconds. The performance version of the Model Y can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.5 seconds highlighting Tesla's focus on rapid acceleration and high power. Both vehicles come equipped with automated parking systems, but the G6 has the edge with its more refined and precise auto parking capabilities that can detect parking spaces and execute parking maneuvers without driver intervention. While the Tesla Model Y 
also offers automated parking, it occasionally requires driver input and may not perform as seamlessly as the G6. However, Tesla's software updates, known for continuously enhancing existing features, could see the Juniper version improving its automated parking to match or exceed the G6's capabilities. In terms of driving modes, the G6 provides a versatile range including Eco, Comfort, Sport and Individual modes, along with adaptive air suspension that adjusts the vehicle's height based on terrain and speed. The current Model Y offers standard and sport driving modes but lacks an adaptive air suspension system, which could affect ride comfort and handling. Speculation about the Juniper includes the possibility of introducing an adaptive suspension system, improving ride quality and handling precision to compete directly with luxury-oriented EVs like the G6. Regarding assistance systems, the G6 is equipped with an advanced suite, including lane departure warning, lane keeping assistance and adaptive cruise control, all of which function smoothly. The Tesla Model Y features autopilot with similar functions but is distinguished by its advanced full self-driving capability, though this feature requires an additional purchase. The Juniper is likely to continue enhancing Tesla's autonomous capabilities, potentially offering even more advanced driver assistance features as standard, further distinguishing it from competitors. Real-world range is another crucial consideration. The G6's 87.5 kWh battery offers an impressive range of up to 702 km under CLTC standards, translating to approximately 500 km in real-world conditions. The Tesla Model Y Long Range, while boasting a strong range of 531 km per EPA standards, typically offers around 450 km under real-world conditions. The Juniper is expected to improve battery efficiency potentially through the use of new battery technology or software optimizations, which could see it surpass both the current Model Y and the G6 in real-world range performance. In conclusion, the battle between the Xpeng G6 and the upcoming Tesla Model Y Juniper is shaping up to be one of the most exciting in the electric SUV market. Which features matter most to you when choosing an electric SUV? Do you think Tesla's Juniper will outshine the Xpeng G6 in real-world driving scenarios? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel